Good morning. I'm Tex Ross. I was going to go over a few things here where your boat's been stored all winter and you're needing to uh, get it on the lake and you don't want to be stranded on the lake with a boat that won't start and traffic backed up waiting to put in and you've got the ramp all tied up. So if you want to prevent that, watch this video. I think it may help you. Uh, make sure your make sure your tire tread is is still good and not worn a lot. Check your air pressure. Check for cuts and abrasions on your tires. Your winch cables. Make sure they're good. No cuts on them. With a screwdriver, or power pliers, or something that'll that'll pull it out. And right there's your and right there's your grease fitting. You take a take just a cheap grease gun like this one right here, a hand gun. Get them at Walmart. They're not very expensive. You just plug the plug the end right on the fit in there. Just push it on. And then take your hand and pump pump some grease in there until it starts uh, popping out, and it forces any water that's trapped in there out and keeps your wheel bearings in good shape. Keep them from going down on you. So that's one thing to check. And then check your uh, Check your lights, check your trailer lights and the wiring. If you have a bad bulb, it's a good time to re replace that. Make sure your batteries are uh, in good shape and uh, make sure they're fully charged. Check your uh, cables for corrosion. Clean them if you need, need be. Make sure they're all tight and strapped down good. You should be in good shape. Make sure all your gauges are working. Check your lights on your boat. Check your fire extinguisher. Make sure it hits in good shape. Check your gas. Fill it with new gas. One thing you can check before you get on the covers: check your uh, check your primer bulb. It should be soft. Yet should pump up firm. If you uh, check it and pump it up firm, look for leaks. Make sure you don't have any leaks on that. Okay, now that's when we let her trim her engine down till it's in the vertical position. Uh, it'd be a good time to check your lower unit. Uh, you have a you have a vent screw right here. Take vent screw out, and here's your oil level screw. Take these two screws out. If the oil drains out right here at this oil level screw then you're it's full of oil but if it don't drain out and it looks like it needs some oil you need to come down here down here to the bottom of this and here's where you fill it and drain it so take the drain plug out and as soon as you take it out if you're just wanting to add it and without draining it uh, just push your uh, little fill tube in there and pump it in there till it starts running out up here at the fill hole. When it starts running out up here, just hold pressure down at the bottom on that and put your vent plug back in and tighten it, tighten your oil level plug, and that keeps it from siphoning back out. Then down here at the bottom, you won't make it as much of a mess to put your plug back in. You get that taken care of, then it's be a good idea to take the hood off the motor check things in there I'll I'll do that right here is your is your lock you just snap it down and then pick this off okay once you get your hood removed there's a few things you can check back here also you can check your your starter wire make sure they're tight and uh, you have a big 20 ounce fuse inside this little fuse holder right here. So if you're ever on the lake, you can remember this and your motor does, when you, the first thing to check is this right here. Inside this, there's a fuse. You just snap it loose right here and then pull it out and check your fuse. If your fuse is blown, put another fuse in it. You may be good to go. It's a good idea to remember that. A lot of people probably don't know that's back on the motor there, but that controls all your electrical stuff. And before you go to the lake this year, if it's been a couple years since you've 
change plugs, just change the spark plugs is a good idea. I'll put a new set of plugs in. They're simple to change. It's not a not a problem. Just pull pull the wire off. Take a take a ratchet and a spark plug socket. Just slips on. These two size spark plugs, small and large. In this in this case here, this is the large size socket that, that you use. But just uh, reverse them counterclockwise, takes them out, clockwise puts them back in. Just take them out and change your change your new plug. And new plugs is uh, get better gas mileage, starts easier and all that. So that's that's a good, quick, easy easy fix. So you may want to do that. And another, another quick reminder: all motors has a fuel filter on them. They have one from the gas tank before it gets back here to the motor, but they have a little one here that's six, seven dollars. Good idea. If it looks dirty, put a new one on it. Simple to do. Got a couple little clamps here. Just take these loose. Take the old filter off. Put your new one on. Tighten them back up. And you're good to go. And let's see here. Yeah, another thing while we got this hood off that I'll remind you of is uh, your automatic oiler. Make sure it's make sure it's full of oil. You run the engine if you let this run out. Fill it with oil before you go to the lake and keep a check on it. Each time you fill it with gas, fill your tank. Take your uh, your big connectors where the where your big connector wires go together. Uh, shake them and twist them make sure they're tight where they've set they could have got corroded a little not get good connection but do that it's a good idea just take a second to do it and put them back down inside out of the wall get you a set of these muffs that connect to a garden hose water hose whatever you want to call it just slide it up over on the foot part of your motor down here you have some in intake vents where your water goes in to cool your engine. Slide that up to those muffs has that covered. Okay, then turn your water supply on till plenty of water is coming out. Turn it up about half halfway I guess would be enough. Hold it in five seconds and try it. If it fires and don't start, hold it in. Try it again until it does. So let's try it again. Here. Check your uh, lantern switch, make sure it's working while it's running. Flip it down, it shuts it off. If you get thrown out of the boat and got that connected to you, it shuts the engine off. Make sure that works. I need a little ladder on mine. I fish sometimes in the win winter when the water's really cold. It's a good safety thing to have on fuel. Your fishing partner falls in. You can get out of the water a little quicker with a ladder. So that's a cheap little device to mount on your boat. Don't take up any space and may, may save your life. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Hope it's helped you. So thanks for watching.